Hello folks and welcome back to the Pretty Go Tea Party and let's play Blade and Soul Kung Fu Master Edition. So I came back here for a few reasons, back to uh, Yahara's Mirage, to do some trade skill stuff. And uh, I made... I, I did some maths and I think I talked about this earlier, but basically uh, I tried to find out what looks like it sold the best. And I ended up choosing uh, Premium Earthen Refiner. Uh, technically, the you know Cinderlands transformation stones. I think they sell for more a piece, but the way the math works out, it's actually a little bit better to just sell the refiner. So uh, I put that and some other things up, and uh, I've been doing pretty good on sales, like right off the bat. So I actually sold one other thing I forget uh, for a little bit of money, but uh, yeah, this is from the Lake Mud Refiner. Refiner. This is like the first tier of refiner. So, uh, see, sales profit, three silver, not bad. They weren't very much uh, a piece. So, we will say you retrieve that. And here we have the premium lake mud refiner, which uses that previous mud refiner to make it a little bit better. Much better here, 43 silver uh, uh, profit on that. So, that's cool. And now we have the premium earthware refiner. We sold it for a total of 125. If you take the commissions and all that other stuff out, we made it one gold, 21 silver profit. That's more money than we had to start with. So we actually more than doubled our money, which is pretty awesome. So now we're up to 2.5 gold when we were like at 80 silver a few seconds ago. You and have I, nothing to worry about. I checked the gold transaction doohickey here. And it looks like it's still about one gold per 65 NC coins. So that's roughly like a gold equals 80-ish cents, give or take. So, you know, it would take a lot of gold to start making, you know, some serious money. But, I mean, we're only level 34. We haven't hit max on our trade skills. So there's still potential money to be made there. So if I can buy NC coin with uh, with our, our gold, that'd be awesome. In fact, if I make, if I can get up to three gold, I might go ahead and sell one just to like see, you know, see what it's, you know, the whole transaction to see how it works. That'd be uh, really interesting. And uh, see, the one thing I don't understand, let's look at this. We have one NC coin and then 290 on, oh, that's how many we have. Oh, that's right. That's right. How many we have right now? Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. But uh, yeah, we might try that a little bit later on to see uh, how how easy we can make some money. I'm going to keep an eye on it. If the price starts to drop, I'll throw one up there just so we don't get too shafted. But uh, another thing is I killed Pinchy a few more times and I actually have all the shield pieces except this last one. And I just couldn't stomach killing him anymore because it's super boring. Like you spend half the time waiting for him to spawn or waiting for somebody to bring the bomb back to unearth him. It's not interesting even remotely. Uh, and I was looking at 36 in two levels, actually less than that, not even a level and a half. We can actually buy soul shield pieces from dude man over there that are huge upgrades. So there's really no point in doing that. Uh, I also wanted to go ahead and start opening these patches that have the gem crystals in it to see if we can do anything with it because the whole transmutation or whatever it's called, uh, we haven't even looked at that. Like we, like we, I think we briefly browsed it but i don't really know that much about it uh it's yukaha's treasure i don't remember who that was what do you got a uh, sealed champion accuracy soul shield and sealed yukaha's ring is that what we need for this i don't think so oh it is okay well we can go ahead and upgrade We'll need unsealing charm and those cinderland if you fangs find yourself overloaded, we'll or blight fangs store whatever. Your items for you and ceiling charms grab both come again break and i don't know why i look it says it right there on the item it says breakthrough material so let's use a hong moon on ceiling charm and let's upgrade this bad boy eight for eight hole copper sweet so now I actually have a bunch of accessories. If you find in yourself here. overloaded, we'll happily store your I items know, for you. I know. Told me that I can eight store trillion times. 
Where is the, okay, here's the necklace. This is where it starts. <laughs> Got quite a few, actually. A blight earring. Jesus, how long Come have I had again. that? Uh, what do we have that increases we'll XP for items? items. For you. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Actually, we'll hold on to that that one. Because remember, that one's when I gave a ton. But we've got so many accessories, I want to clear up bank space. Eh, this might push us over. No. Well, let's just find out. Now nah, it looks like it's not going to quite make it. 97 copper. We still have some we can use. Because you only can fit so many on here. I think I was hearing ring is the best thing to upgrade. Honestly, I don't even pay attention to the stats, which I know. Terrible. But I'm just like, oh, it's got more gooder. Okay, good. I'll, I'll take that more gooder. Hey, that's not bad. Go ahead and evolve it. That old sealed blight earring. 1.5 silver. Get a little bit expensive. A little bit. Not for us. We're uh, rich now. Okay. So we already got it almost ready for another transformation. Evasion 127. Attack power 3. Thanks for that attack power. Crit 178 and crit damage. I'd rather have evasion and block and stuff, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, we had this for that. Oh, well. If you find yourself overloaded, we had this we'll happily store your items for you. Yes, put that there. Oh, nope. Go back. Uh, the golden devil will throw in there. Oh, let's check the transmute. I never did get enough white roses, so really that's pointless. Nothing's glowing over there. A square gem chest. Contains a gem. All right. So we have, I don't know what the different, like, shapes are for. This seems better. This one takes, what, triangular gem fragments? And this takes the same thing. So why would I not do this since it's blue? Is there a level thing? No. Square gem Oh, this is triangular. I don't know if triangular is good or bad. You've got triangular in there now. Maybe that's the type of stat. Maybe, like, triangle gives you, like, defense, and square gives you, you know, critical or stuff like that. Anyway, let's just try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We waste some gem fragments. Okay. Here it is. Let's see what we get. Brilliant triangular ruby. Now, any additional attack. Ooh. That's kind of nice. What else do we have in here right now? Let's glamour. We have 75 hit points over time, which right now, that's probably not a lot. Yeah, we have 6,000 hit points. So 75 recovery is pretty crappy. 15 life drain? I don't know if... if I'm assuming 15 life drain means you drain 15 hit points. And if so, that's obviously incredibly weak. So let's just uh, let's kick that one out, I guess. And kick this one in. Cool. Well, let's make some more, I guess. I mean, I could be wasting these. Who knows? But it's fun. So triangular. Need to be more. Let's try a square one. Let's see what we get. Okay. 1.5 second stun, 60... What? After the ruby stun effect, no other stun effects can be triggered for 30 seconds. Hmm, 60 additional damage, which is not much. Eh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we can get that one. You must meet the requirements to equip this item. Oh, is it too high? No. Is it... You must meet the requirements to equip this item. 
Because it just says drag a gem in the socket. It doesn't say like a shape. Oh, maybe they have to be all the same shape? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. If you find yourself overloaded, we'll happily store your items for you. I'm sure somebody can kind of explain that in the in the comments below. Or I'll just, you know, stop being lazy and, you know, look it up. I know, crazy. Can we put any more of these in here? We can. I'm just trying to again, just trying to dump my dump my inventory, if you will. And oh we had one more. Come again. We have a repair tool bag. Oh wow, master! If you tools. find yourself overloaded, we'll happily right, store a bunch your of items too. Holy you. shit! Come again. All right. Now, ten minutes of this video, I've just been opening shit and farting around. Oh yes. Oh, that's right. Uh, so I spun the wheel over there. I started my Viridian stones, and basically the way that Viridian stone wheel thing works is most of the time you get a note that says try again. You can turn five of those try ins for another Viridian stone, so you can get more stones, but overall you're gonna lose them. But eventually you get those Viridian stone chests and you can get Viridian Cinderlin's Valor stones out of them. Last but most important, from Pinchy, I got Pinchy Outfit Chest. Let's see what this is. Stinger. You must meet the requirements to unequip this item. Uh, what? You must meet the requirements to unequip this item. You cannot remove item. Deva Raiment when Deva Aura is equipped. What? What the hell? You must meet the requirements to unequip this item. When Deva Aura? Surely they don't mean that. You must meet the requirements to unequip this item. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, all right. Gotcha. What's up, ladies? Oh. Oh, this looks pretty badass. Look at that. I like this, the back. I feel like that spiky looks goes good with our new fists. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm, uh, I'm down with that. So we'll put this away for the time being. All right, let's go kill some stuff. Let's go kill some stuff. I had probably easier to just bring the map over there and then drag it back. Because there was a bunch of quests I didn't grab right here. 52 copper. <laughs> 52 copper. What's that to us? Uh, you also probably notice I moved my abilities up here. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but we'll leave it there for the time being. But uh, I haven't done very much fighting at all with it up there. But yeah, I just... I don't like... I typically like my abilities low down. But I just don't like them that low. Be again, because things... The way this game works, where, like, number two can change because something got stunned, then I, I don't like that because I'm constantly having to look down. This, I feel like, is more of a heads-up thing. Village of, villagers from Clear Sky have been kidnapped. The Yonkai Brigade have been stealing Grimhorn rations. The Grimhorn lashed out. It's a known cycle of violence. You're not headed to the camp. Both in Grimhorn. Oh, yeah, okay. Rescue the village. You're back. Good timing. I heard a rumor you were heading up to Yonkai. Sorry if you think the only time I talk to you is when I need something. Although, actually, I do. The forward fo uh, camp soldiers are desperate for, 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 blah, 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 for provisions. There you go again. Fine. No small talk. Just got to the chase, right? God, I wish everybody would do that. So sorry for wasting your time with important details. Yes! Exactly. Kill a bunch of Grimhorn. Okay. Wish everybody would understand that. Could the Grimhorn have the key ingredient for my stew? It doesn't seem possible. Just before you arrived, the very lovely treasure hunter with very little clothes on tasted my stew. She said it could be ten times better with the Grimhorn Master Chef's secret seasoning. Ten times? That's a lot. What if she's right? What if my stew's been bland all these years? You want to help? Do you think you could get the seasoning for me? Their chef is in the Grimhorn scullery. I think there's one more quest. Oh, there they are. Oh, it's this guy. Giving it daily again. I heard you avenged our brother's death by killing Ukaha, but now you must help us save the very Mudo clan itself. 
Our youngest member, Janjin, stole a sacred artifact called the Spirit Tome that Mudu Clan had kept safe for hundreds of years. Seven of us followed him deep into the Spirestone Canyon. But Colonel Yunkai captured us and accused us of trying to steal Mushin's legacy, whatever that is. Now they're holding the surviving members, namely us, namely me. They say we have 15 days to find the Spirit Tome or they'll kill us. As you heard from Park Mungsula, three Mudo brothers searched for the Spirit Tome in the Altar of Champions and never came out. If Mudo Clan had any chance of survival, you must rescue the surviving members, Jung Jungak and Ra Rahogsuk. They're still searching for the Spirit Tome. All right, rescue those guys. I don't remember what his daily is, but I want that stuff. Oh, he's got another one. You know what? Just, just give me the quest. Spent too much time farting around already. Okay. Looks like it's all over here to the west. Let's avoid these guys. I'm going to try to work more on using dodge to avoid attacks instead of not using parry. We need these now. Uh, gather marsh. Oh, these guys. Well, we're already starting with me hitting the wrong key. That's good. Really? You aggro from there, you little prick. I keep looking at the bottom of the screen too, like out of habit. We'll try it for a while. This angle still isn't as cool, as good as I'd like it to be. I wonder if Pinchy will actually drop anything else, like a helm or anything. I don't think I had the patience to kill him, though. It's just, like, it's one of those things where it's like, my god, who thought this was a good idea? He just takes so long. Like, he's not challenging, he's just really, really boring. See, now it's kind of in the way of my, uh... He just, um, in the way of my targeting. But yeah, I went ahead and made a Cinderlin's pickaxe as well to get more quartz, because that stuff is fairly expensive. And by fairly, I mean pretty expensive on the auction house. Like 10 silver a piece for a single one, I think. So much information on the screen, my old brain can't handle it all. Okay. Let's go back and forth here, maybe. Ugh. Just respawned already, which is good. Nice. There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do, I think. That shin kick, I noticed when fighting Pinchy. Like, you can just keep spamming shin kick, which is pretty nice. And it uh, does some serious damage. I think you're supposed to combo into something, but when I get it more time, I want to look into that. I need to just do it twice, because that third time I trip and then waste the cooldown. It's all about this new suit, I'm telling you. Just twice, just twice. Because I think after the second time, it's not that it runs out, it's just that the enemy's dead. All right, so we don't need those anymore. We still need the fish traps? No, I do not believe so. Nope, because they're, we're not highlighted on the map anymore. Good, I like the way those two maps are right next to each other. Or uh, those two quests, rather. All right, there's a repeatable quest over here. See, I was able to do it three times that time just because he didn't die. What do we got? Is this a quest giver or part of the quest? Obtain the Grim Horde Tribe Master Seasoning. Oh, okay. Go do that. I really like the wide variety of 
suits in this game, or this outfits. That's one thing about Black Desert Online, and I probably, maybe you shouldn't talk about Black Desert too much, because you're mostly here to watch this. But, I do think it's just interesting to compare them. Oh, I tried, it was the... the But uh, one big thing with them that has you know come out recently that has caused quite the uh, the stir hmm. is their prices. For uh, outfits. And part of the problem with the out prices for the outfits. One, the game is pay to play, so you have to actually buy it to play it, even though there's no sub. But two, they don't have a way in game to really significantly change your appearance without paying for the outfits. Like this game has in game like outfits in the shop, right? But, you know, there's alternate or alternatives, right? I was like, oh, is he dead or not? Or Yes, he was, is the answer to that. I had to hit F just for old time's sake. I'm so busy looking at my keys, I'm not really used looking to see if this new angle is helping me at all. Done, bitch. God damn it. Yeah, those shield guys in particular, I'm struggling to try to figure out when they're actually attacking. A lot of times they're just guessing. I'm like, okay, it's roughly when I need to do it. Extinguish sensor. Okay. Oh, you little bitch. Here you look. Made it from behind. Don't be blocking me. Yeah, I feel like now the AI has just gotten kind of busy. We got too much stuff in the middle. I'm trying to read the quest, but they're all running off, so screw it. Get up in the air, bitch. Oh, shit. My uh, cooldown was not up. What the hell is damaging me? Oh shit! These fucking little motherfuckers. Well, we're dead. God damn, this is a solo quest? Feel my flame! Feel my flame! Yeah, you're kind of worthless. Uh, Alright, is there something we were supposed to do there? Because that went from like ridiculously easy to. Oh, wait. Wait, what? You fucking hit me from there? Seriously? Or aggro from there? That's kind of ridiculous. Very uh, generous aggro range. I feel like maybe there was something we're supposed to do to lower his hit points or something. That or what the. Well, that and those little pieces of shit coming in at the end didn't help. I didn't realize they were there. I was like, why am I taking damage? Hurry up. Uh, I got so many fucking quests. Tame the Grim Totem Tribe Master Seasoning. I guess it is marked as two. But fuck that. I ain't got time to grab somebody else. Nobody got time for that. 
Oh, one thing we can do is we can eat that fish thing. Does it give us the buff? Yeah. This drag. This down here. No, I don't want to discard it, Jack. I want to put it in the. Damn. There we go. Yeah, because I definitely don't want to wait for somebody to do this. I'm going to kill the ads first. And of course, now we don't have uh, the little other guys there. guy's got a fuck ton of hit points. Yeah, I see those little shits behind me. Hello, little fucks. Hello, you went up. Thank you. Really? Whoa, 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 wait. Son of a bitch, asshole. What a pain in the ass. Bitch, <laughs> what an ass. Well, now I guess two people actually means like two people, <laughs> as opposed to nah, you could probably solo this while AFK. Yeah, much, much easier to kill those ads because they don't have much hit points or they don't have many hit points, and they were doing way more damage than he was, especially since I could crowd control him like stun and knockdowns. That made him a way easier. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuns. We got the trip. We've got the you know grapple, which I count as a stun because you're keeping them off of you longer while you do free damage. We've got uh, the stomp or the tremor. We've got the dodge and then um, whatever kick name I always forget the name of. Well, that'd be a good uh, good solo or a day good daily to do. Just to keep uh, in practice. Now this one actually is a group. Oh wait, is this um? Oh, that's right. Which ones do we have there? Uh. Let's see if everybody's doing it. You guys gonna make a party or? Begin searching for a party. Sure. Let's see if they join. I don't know how to accept. We won't go too far. We'll kill for a little bit and see if people join up. Your request is complete. Get out of here. I know if that person was actually in trouble or what. Yeah, I think it pops up like down here or something when somebody applies. We'll give it a couple minutes. Some of those enemies were actually for a uh, repeatable too. Twin Blade Warriors. Okay. Actually, let's just go do that. It's right over here. We can run back. Right back. No big deal. I 
really gotta stop doing this. The request is complete. Nice. Alright. Get the trade school stuff ready to go. I usually try to do uh, short ones. I do short, like, trade school runs. Like, 40 minutes. Like, when I first log in. And then when I log out for the day, that's when I set up, like, the six, the six hour ridiculous ones. I just spam that three. Probably shouldn't do that. Do I need this guy for anything? I hope so. Damn it. Nope. Screw it. Hey, your attack is super slow. Ooh, that didn't count. I feel like I got kind of robbed. Kind of got robbed. Sometimes, like, it feels like you dodge, like, way early. And, uh, like, the game is like, eh, we're gonna give it to you. But then there's other times where you dodge right on time and the game doesn't give it to you. It's so bizarre. Yeah, that hurts a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Get on the ground. Oh, that was weird. I was trying to finish it off with the, the typical hoo-ha, but it didn't work. What do we need over here? What do we need over here? Twinblade Warriors. Oh, they're both Twinblade Warriors. <laughs> Please move closer to target. That uh, jump range is a little bit weird. Wow. Animation took so long. Just stay down. There's no point in getting up. The thing is, like, a lot of times, like I say, I'm still so used to just waiting to the last second from other games to just like, okay, now dodge, or, you know, now parry or whatever. In this game, you can't really do that because it's since there's that online component. He's like, I didn't even dark damn it bullshit. Get out. Doom, doom, Few people have asked, like, why how why do I have so much money? Well, other than obviously today. But yeah, a few people have asked, like, God, how do you have so much money? Uh part of that is, I think, from being a premium member. Team Jinjari's belongings. Hmm. But yeah, part of it's just from being a premium member, I think, because you do get that um, extra XP. Bitch. Or not XP, but you get that extra money from from uh, from kills that you don't normally get. So I think that helps quite a bit. Well, other than that, I'm not really doing a whole lot of special, other than what we talked about earlier today. So what is his belong? Stolof's artifact. I wonder if it's... Oh, you know what? It looks like it's... This looks like this is a pretty special place for it to be. Oh, that's just nice. Bunch of skulls. At the bottom of a river of blood. Classic. Whoa. Oh, hey. How you doing? Bundle. Um... I feel like we're starting to get it pretty far... Sort of far away from that thing now, so I'm probably gonna... Actually, I don't know how to... drop the, the quest thing. Hold on. 
Da -da. Weapon's about to break. Not at a 95. Yeah, I need to repair that. Shit, sorry. Wrong bad, bad combo of keys to press. Alright, time to hit random keys. Nope. Nope. There we go. How do I delete? Yes. Okay. Uh, we might do that at the end. Go to as a daily. Who are you? I doubt you're on a sightseeing trip. He did. Bless his plant-picking little soul. Our rations are almost gone, but thanks to you, we'll have a feast tonight. In a desert, water is worth its weight in gold. That's why Colonel Yunkai sent us here. He who controls the water controls the region. That's why the Grimhorn took over the Fallwater Reservoir. The Horn freaks might look simple, but they certainly aren't stupid. They control the water, and they don't like to share. Clear Sky Village learned that firsthand a few years back when the wells began to dry up. They formed a militia to take back the reservoir. Twenty or soul, twenty or soul soldiers. Why is it still? Hmm. Twenty or soul soldiers took an entire tribe. Desperate times, desperate measures. The Grim Horde slaughtered the tiny militia. Only a single soldier returned to Clear Sky, battered, bruised, shaken by the horror of watching his companions die. The soldiers' bodies were never found. Some say the Grim Horn ate them. All that remains in their possessions, which the Grimhorn divided among the strongest warriors. I saw one. Okay. All right. You want me to go kill them? I hate them already. Whoa. How the heck did you get here? You must be crazy. I like crazy. You're my type of warrior. Thanks for carving us a supply route, buddy. Hey, can I ask you to do me one more thing, buddy? The supplies still can't get here. We need to thin out the Grimhorn. I, it's the little Grimhorns that get you. These things have sharp teeth. They'll grab your ankle and never let go. Then look, thin those little ones out, and we can handle the big ones. And hey, grab Grimhorn earrings off the ones you kill as proof. It'll make us all look good. Mostly me, though. Ah, another martial artist come to join the Yunkai Brigade? I'm afraid I have enough personal problems as it is. Personnel problems. Colonel Yunkai ordered this unit to scare a very special, secure a very special treasure from a Grimhorn named Hakan all in service of finding something called Mushin's Legacy, but frankly, I've lost control of my soldiers. Now, I'm at my, I'm at my wit's end. They won't talk to me. This is a strange request, but would you consider speaking to them? They might open up to an outsider. Things are a little too isolated here. The stra a stranger is a welcome change. Okay. Uh, hello. I'm Jung Jenak, second in command of Mudo Clan. Who are you? Really? But why are you here? Jenjin, let me see those. Where did you find these? Fiends take me! The, then Janjin is truly dead. He must have been killed. This is just terrible. Why did he steal our spirit's tome? For money? Power? What a foolish kid. The spirit tome is not what is not with his belongings. This only adds to our woes. The spirit tome is a sacred relic, the identity of our clan. What to do what do we do? Janjin has betrayed us, and without the incantation guide, the Mudo clan lacks divine authority. I truly give up. But how can this be made right? Can the members of a shattered clan ever rise from the ashes? Maybe you're right. My master, Teho, would have also been optimistic. Wait, yes, master's gift. My master gave me a gift. Fireworks, actually. A sort of bomb. It's been stolen by the Grimhorn. He said to burn his gift in time of great crisis. I have carried it for years. If I know the Grimhorn, the Grimhorn High Priest, Rashiki, probably has my master's gift. Another shiny they don't understand. They gave to the priest. Will you help me recover it? Oh, thank you. The burning of the gift will show us Master's Wisdom. I just know it. What do you have? Oh, it's, uh, quiet. There wasn't anyone named Moo at the scullery. Waste of time and bullets. You find anything? A lotus, huh? That lake is cursed by the Grimhorn. It's gonna take more Party than moving a flower to expired. free your spirit. The Grimhorn's charms make them immune to the curse. Collect some, and maybe we can help. Get the charms, and quickly. Okay, let's talk to some of these soldiers, see what's going on. Captain Yu Jinhun should feed us. That's my big complaint. I'm too hungry to lift a sword. I signed up with the military because I wasn't eating enough. I hate this second-rate army. Alright. Sounds like a little insubordination. Possibly a mutiny. Captain Jin Yunhun is too soft. If the higher-ups are sending us on a suicide mission, he needs to push back. It's the grunts who do all the hard work and who risk all the danger. I hope Yun Jinhun remembers that. Yeah, well, it better be good enough. Colonel Yunkai has been known to kill entire units if they don't perform. I can see why he is still such loyalty. Yunkai is looking for something called Mushin's Legacy. He hunts down any little treasure, ravages entire villages just based on the smallest rumor. 
I'm no historian or mystic, but I can't help but feel that if Yonkai gets this legacy, the whole world will be in danger. I'm loyal to Yun Jihun. I will follow him to depth and beyond, but I can't stomach Yonkai's greed. Yeah, at some point we're going to have to whoop this guy's ass. Because he's obviously corrupt and evil as hell. Little Danny DeVito looking son of a bitch. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be able to get a better handle on the mood here. Appreciate it. Scouts have learned the grim horned war chief Hakan at Fallwater Reservoir has the treasure Colonel Yonkai has ordered this unit to recover. I don't know. It may sound trite, but a good soldier don't ask questions. Warriors, my soldiers are already stretched to their absolute limit. Would you consider dealing with Hakan or recovering the treasure? You will? Hakan is known as the fiercest warrior among the hill, hill Rimhorn. Are you still wi willing? You have the steady determination of a true warrior. We, War Chief Hakan is a formidable foe. I wish you all luck in the coming battle. I think that actually might be, he might drop a component for our next upgrade. Uh, Spirestone Canyons, Hakan. Yep, for the necklace. Uh, let's... Oh, shit, I don't have any repair stuff on me, do I? But... Ah, but... We provide excellent how lucky service, there's a always. repair thing how can right I help here. You? Be safe out there. I don't actually... Mm, I guess that looks not good enough. No, that's not... We provide excellent service. Yes, as yes. Always. How can I help you? Level 3 to 50... Oh, that's one to ten. Be safe out there. Gotcha. We're doing good on repair stuff, though. We don't haven't used it very much. I'm trying not to. Until it's just absolutely necessary. Nine's close enough to being broken. Then I'm like, all right, let's just repair it. And now we're doing fairly good on money, so we could probably. We provide Actually, I think we can service, make them. Always. One of How our trade you? skill, who has will do that. Grimhorn Defense Shield Pack. I'm not going to open that because it's going to take up a bunch of room. What else did he get us for? I don't remember. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll make this... Uh, oops, wrong one. What are we looking for before we go in? Eh. I'll sure. probably remember it. I think it's like Altar of Champions or something. But, um, yes, it's, we spent a lot of time, like 10 minutes or so, just kind of babbling on. We'll do a little bit extra today. Alter champion. I thought it showed if you have a quest there. I hate how you can't open up your quest and stuff. Uh, requirements. Soul Shield, Yukaha's Wing. Eh. Whatever. Looking I'm pretty sure this is it. Ha! <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. I actually considered, like, if... That's one reason I want gold. I want to buy cosmetic stuff. I think the one thing you can't buy with uh, the... Uh, like the in-game stuff is with uh, with the is, is a subscription. Even though the I mean the the that's one thing I don't get, man. I'm stuttering like an idiot today. One thing I don't quite get is my understanding was you could trade in-game gold for Hongmoon coins, but it looks like you were you were trading gold for NC coins, and with that you should be able to buy you should be able to buy the a subscription directly because I'm I'm pretty sure you're the only thing you can't buy with Hong Moon coins that you can buy with NC coins is a subscription so if you can extend your premium out just by selling gold and that's that's good I think that's ideal if we get like one more person I'm gonna start oh, I'm thinking of starting now what is she uh, assassin. I get a few more seconds if we don't get anybody. Looking for a dungeon. Ah, there we go. 
Looking for a dungeon. Oh, okay. All right. Looking for a dungeon. <laughs> now all of a sudden everybody's coming in. Yikes! Somebody went with the fro. All right. Moving to dungeon. That's good enough. We could have probably done it with three. So we have, we have, well, here we got a level 43 here, so yeah. We definitely can do this. I don't or even remember that much about this, but I think it was fairly easy when we did it before. You are now the party leader. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I love how they put the daily guy outside. So, like, if you forgot to go get the daily, you could just queue. You don't have to run out there. And you could turn it in, too, when you're finished. That's really, that's a nice, convenient thing. I like convenience. There's arguments to be made that stuff like this, like having the dungeon that you can just port to from anywhere in the world, a dynamic quest you know, kind of takes away a little bit because, you know, it makes the world seem smaller. And those aren't invalid arguments. But uh, typically, I'm just like, um, I'd rather just have the convenience. Generally, it, it depends on the type of uh, MMO. If the MMO is built like from the ground up to be that way, then it can be fine. Like uh, Black Desert Online, there's no fast travel and there's nothing like Griffin travel or anything like that. And I think that that's totally fine for that type of game. Stop blocking, you dick. I'm hoping to get some more uh, jewelry. Then stop moving around. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! That delay, I'm telling you. Close to target. Yeah, that was easy. We could have easily just done that with two of us. Or well, if two of us would have been maybe pushing it. But we had like Oh god damn it. Nice. 35. I didn't see if we got a new ability though. All right, let's turn in this quest. This way we don't have to run back. Actually, we'll probably have to run back anyway. Let's think we had another daily over there. And those give Cinderland thorns, which we definitely want to make sure we keep ahead of. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure we keep Cinderland thorns because I use that for my trade skill stuff. And if we want to keep making money and here's the flip side though like you might think oh jesus why aren't you you know by the time you load back up you should have 100 gold selling those things here's the flip side just to make that purified whatever it was that i made the purified mud oil it took six hours just for that there's sub components of that too that can take as long as that to gather the components so basically, realistically, complete. I'll be selling those like every other day, probably. If I wasn't so lazy, I could wake up a little bit early and then service. like start it, come home, you? turn it in or, you know, pick it up or well, turn it in. <sighs> Fucking spit it out, idiot. Be safe start out the six hour gather, go to work, come back home, grab it set it off again and then before i go to bed grab another one if that makes sense i feel like i'm stuttering that because you are all right let's get the cinderling reward chest nice more repair tools i'm down with that seal do kashas or whatever ring nice good because we can feed that to this we take this out Oh, if we get lucky. 
We'll only have to use this up. Nice. Sweet. Uh, let's see. The next one is 36. So. We got a little ways. A little bit. Tomb of the Exiles. Looks like it's where it drops. Nice. Do we have another chest? Oh, we had the this defense shield chest, but we don't care about that. But, uh, oh shit, I don't have a shard there at all. What the hell? What happened there? I don't know how I took that off. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Oh yeah, looking total badass. Anyway, make sure you guys leave comments in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.